So go rip you'll hit Columbus Zoo and Aquarium final Thursday of July. Just after 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't think the Zumbezi Bay is open quite yet for swimming. Uh, there's a rainstorm coming in hopefully. A line to go into the tube. So it's the uh, most popular thing I've seen here today. And the uh, sea lions are swimming. Th the water turned um, somewhat darker colored or it's the sunlight I think. There's a heck of a filtration system going on. Um, there's a lady up on, I call it the pavilion. I, I don't even have a name for it yet. It sure is a lot bigger than it looked when they were building it. Um, the gazebo and she explained how they like to, uh, the sea lions like to swim upside down and they close their eyes but then they have a third eyelid where they swim with their eyes open. With burst to 25 miles per hour, she mentioned, which is pretty incredible. I'm just going to try to count how many of them were in there. And they remind me of my Purple Martins, how they just... Oh wow, that was cool. Kind of like a mating ritual there. Um, whatever it was, I don't know. And I ditched my Purple Martin film. I noticed August 11th last year they left. But when we were bailing hay, they congregated. I had about 100 Purple Martins out there, it seemed like. And uh, I come home, and um, I thought maybe they were leaving, but they're still here, so I ditched my film. Where they're, they're, they're due to. Uh, I've never checked the date on it before to see exactly. So I had that in mind. And so let's walk on around and see if we can see the people in the tube even. So it came Thursday morning. The colored concrete. Some asphalt here. And you can see if, you, if we could get close or kinda need the sunlight on it, I can tell. The crowd's not too bad here, but I don't see the um, the staff's not going to interact with the crowd, I don't think, like, like they, they wanted to. But you come out of that tube and up some stairs somewhere, and you can see in there. Here it is. You can't get close. A little help, please. You hear it honking like a geese. Try to sneak up here real quick. You can see the people. They're inside a tube and, and see the people in the water. Hi. Yeah, this is the wrong way. Maybe we're on the wrong side. Yeah, this is exit. Thank you. Okay, we got our lighthouse and the uh, Adventure Cove stage. Okay, now here's that cat that jumps. Ezekiel, his dad had one and it got loose from him. It's it's pacing. Serval. The serval cat here at Columbus. Uh, it's good size. Very strong. Says get your jump on, serval. Yeah, it doesn't wear a collar. So that, that shell on top of the mountains closed. It, fairly short tail. So yeah, glad I got to see that today. I've been wanting to see that. 
And I want to see a sloth. We're supposed to have one out here somewhere. Please stay to the right on all two-way pathways. One-way direction has been instituted in certain areas of the zoo. Please follow these new directions. They've instituted the institution. Big ear fox. Now these guys can come inside and out. It looks like at will. They, they look like they um, they smell rodent. They're digging for ants or something up there against the building. So yeah, these guys had a good time looking in that, that, that tube. Okay, there's a little monkey looking thing back here. And the uh, uh, two cans. Beautiful two cans. They look artificial, they're so beautiful. And that's the reason why you want to go to Australia right there, guys. They have all the stuff over there that we don't. That would be the main, probably the main reason to go to Australia. And some uh, tortoises over here. Okay, um, yep, um, swamp rat. That's what they are. She said they look like big rats. Nutria. Uh, but large and healthy and clean ones. And this one, they, they got a male or a female separated from the others, it looks like. He's looking over here. So yeah, pretty good attraction here. It's uh, Columbus Zoo. All brand new, Animal Counter Village. And um, sea lion exhibit, man. Check it out. Thanks again, everyone. Burger Rippy.